Alright guys, now before we start, make sure you have a proper stress testing tool installed. For example, I'm using Heaven Benchmark 4.0 and we also need something like MSI Afterburner, there are also other tools um, that you could use. I am actually only using MSI Afterburner to see how much power my GPU is actually drawing because we do have here a power graph with power in wattage. So now the first thing that we are going to do is we run our Radeon settings. Open it up. I'm right here now in the stuff that you aren't. You will see this screen in front of you. Now you will go into games. Don't worry, my things are in German because I'm not English. Now you go into global settings not into these different game settings, just go into the global settings and then you will go to global Wattman. The, this stuff here doesn't matter. We go into global Wattman. Now usually um, your Radeon settings are gonna ask you if you're really sure if you want to go into global Wattman, blah blah blah, you accept it and you will be inside here. Now you have here all the graphs. You can see the activity, the frequency, the memory, the temperature, blah, blah, and all that stuff. Now we are not gonna change a single thing here. We will just see, we will just do a before benchmark to see how much our GPU is actually drawing and if it's even boosting until these 1266 megahertz that are advertised. Now we uh, minimize this one and we open up the heaven benchmark. Now my problem here is I'm only running at 1080p. So that's going to be a little bit tough to um, stress my GPU until it's max. We will also need MSI afterburner. I detach this part here because the rest is not very interesting to me. I only want to see this stuff here. Now for the settings, I will go for, yes, system resolution and then crank all to ultra, just to make sure my GPU is gonna sweat a little bit here. Yeah, okay, now let's run it. We will run this test just for a while, just to see how much wattage my GPU is using when not tweaking anything. I had to turn off the volume. <laughs> All right. We can see our GPU is, so, is maxed out at 100%. That's very important. We really want that because otherwise we just wouldn't be able to tell how much it actually could draw. Now this one is the worst case scenario for your GPU because there are not too many games who are stressing a GPU this hard. Okay, we've had it running for a few minutes right now and we can see that their max is somewhere, it's gonna be somewhere around 105 watts here, yeah, and it is, yeah, fluctuating around a little bit here. I would say around 102 to 105 watts, that's already decent I would say. Now the temperatures are around 55 degrees. They will they will raise, no question, because the stress testing wasn't for long enough. And 
what is important as well, we just want to check out how high it actually um, boosts. And it is at 1266 as advertised, so that's good. Uh, we are going to close our benchmark here and we will jump right in our Radeon settings. Now the first thing you always want to do is you go to the power target and you set it to plus 50 because that is, is just like um, it makes sure that your GPU is gonna boost until these 1266. We really don't want to run into a power limitation of the GPU itself. So we just set it to plus 50%. And then here we can go for manual voltage control. So these settings, they are the base settings that Radeon installed on its drivers. So every GPU is gonna run with these settings here. But we all know that GPUs are not all the same. So there are some that actually would run with less voltage. And that's what is, I think, really interesting to me. And now I did fiddle around a, bit, a little bit with these settings and I think that's a saying that you want to do. If I were you, I would just leave these few things here. I would say like the first three settings, I would leave them at, yeah, at this standard settings and I would test this one a little bit here. Now, if I were you, I would just go for always like 20 millivolt steps down and do some retests. I will type in now my settings. I made this one at 800, this one 825, this one 875, this one 910. You can already see, so there is a drop of quite a bit. Now here I go for 925 and that's a huge drop. Here as well, 925 we are more than 100 millivolts under the standard settings and I will go here for 950 so 150 millivolts less than the GPU would usually use so that's a lot and we apply it always make sure you apply the settings because otherwise yeah it will just run with the basic things now we did have applied our I would say custom voltage for our GPU and the next thing you really do want to do is a stress test and see if the GPU is still stable and that's actually very important so we make we minimize this window here we still have the afterburner opened and now we will see how much it actually is drawing and if it's even stable anymore of course we run the test with the same settings. So now very important to me is that the GPU seems to be stable but don't let it here. It's very important that you run this test for very long, I would say an hour. If the GPU is stable after an hour, yes, it will pretty much be stable 24-7. If not, then you should really go back into Radeon settings and change some of the voltage um, things that you apply to your GPU. Now, the really great thing to see here is we are running right now somewhere around 92 watts. And you, you know that we were somewhere around 102 to 105 watts. So we do have a power reduction of around 10 to 15 watts and yeah I mean in my opinion that's that's a lot I mean especially if you think around that yeah I mean this this GPU would usually use just more without being faster so yeah I will let it run now for a little bit just for lulls because I already tested these settings for hours. I played a lot of games with these settings and I never had any stability issues.
All right, guys, I stop the testing right here because as I already mentioned, I did test my, my GPU for a while and I never ran into stability issues with it. And yeah, that's basically it. You won't have, I mean, you will have to try it out. You will have to figure out which voltages are gonna be stable for your GPU because every GPU is different, as I already mentioned. That's very important, keep that in mind. And don't go like, yeah, my GPU should run somewhere around 975 millivolts. I would say no, that's probably not gonna be the case because my GPU is running underwater and it runs already more efficient when, when underwater. So yeah, I would say there is definitely um, potential in it. And the very, I would say like the great thing about it is first, you can reduce the power draw of your GPU without sacrificing any performance. Now the second thing that is for me, I mean, you will have probably a different opinion, but for me it's very important to have a silent system. 